So here we're unboxing the 6 3D Printer Plus. Let's see what's inside the box here. Let's see what we can find. So we start off here with the um, uh, top layer. So you can see that we have a quick start guide. We have a USB cable. We have a little bit of uh, cleaning filament and cleaning tools for different parts and also uh, a few uh, basic tools to help you get going. You also get a, a um, carbon filter for uh, removing any impurities in the build volume. On top of that you get a power cord, in this case a EU power cord, a power cord. and of course a spool holder and a optional uh, adjustment for the for the bull plate. Usually you don't need these. So this is just for when you're doing the first setup basically. And then you also get the very exciting build platform, uh, the build plate. So this is held with three magnets and you can see here the automated uh, calibration. So it has a few spots here where it calibrates the plate automatically. So that's really really great. Also you get a nice little toolbox which includes um, another set of screws, a, um, a, a um, clipper and a, what's this called, um, scraper to remove your prints. You also get a few tools, Allen screws and another tool here. And that's it, that's actually awesome that you get all of that included as well. So let's see here, let's remove these. this so, so here's the unboxed machine or I should say semi unboxed so what we want to do here is to just remove this packaging material without breaking anything there we go. Let's see here. You can get the other one as well. This machine is quite heavy, um, which means that it has a good uh, solid structure. So it's a really, it has two handles here on the side where you can a little bit more easily move it around. And we have a lot of wrapping around the machine here as well. Let's just cut that open. Be careful not to scratch the metal. That wouldn't be nice at all. Something like that. Uh, now there's a few uh, contact points here where you need to remove a few um, zip ties uh, that keeps the extruder in place during transport. Uh, but other than that, we'll have a look at the, all the small details here. Um, let's start off with just removing this part here. So I have to open the lids. And I should be able to firstly remove this for the ZX axis. And we should be able to turn this. So what I'm doing now is I'm just lifting up the build plate. So we can remove all of this packaging in here. The hood is actually inside here. Now normally you get some filament with the machine, but we have a special um, review sample, so we don't get any filament here uh, inside of here. We're using um, another uh, manufacturer of filaments. Let's see if we can just increase that. So normally the filament would be in here. Now, so here's the first um, point where you need to remove some extra packaging material to get the, um, the hood out. So we're going to use this clipper. To remove this part. And then you can take out the hood and you have a hood. So you just take out this packaging then.
And that's it. Now you're ready to start finishing and removing some, some of the smaller um, packaging, uh, the ex extruder safety, uh, packaging safety. So let's have a look on how we're gonna do that. extruder is the uh, of course the fan so the fan is much improved so you have much better PLA cooling you also have a stronger construction uh, in, in general and also the um, the heater block is redesigned as well so previously you had a square uh, geometry now you have much better um, uh, much better geometry for uh, cooling flow so you can actually get much better cooling on the uh, on the extruder unit itself. On top of that you also have a mechanical improvement here on the sides. So you don't have any plastic parts anymore. This is uh, metal parts to make sure that you have the best possible um, um, ruggedness or, or precision with the um, um, positioning of the tool head. So next up is to insert the build platform. Just gonna put this, and you can see there are small magnets that aligns. Or at least they should align. There we go, and it's on. So you can see here the three places. So there's one, there's one, and here's one as well. So these are the position for this part here, which is the um, sensor for triggering uh, the position. So the tool head actually moves around and um, uh, senses the, the positions and, and then calibrates the build platform. 